tell us what you've been doing over the past year and then talk to me about that tweet in Pennsylvania and about mobilizing the Amish to vote for Republicans because I found that not only fascinating, but also infuriating that Republicans at large, you're doing it, but Republicans at large aren't doing this. Well, after the soul-crushing 2020 debacle of an election, I made it my mission that I would start traveling the country, continuing my work to take back the House of Representatives in 2022. And so I was focusing on key states, key races, key governorships, and all of the pundits and prognosticators were saying, a red wave is incoming. You know, the economy is crashing. Joe Biden's doing a terrible job. The border is wide open like a sieve. And everybody got it wrong. In September of 2022, I said, guys, I don't see a red wave incoming. Sure, we're doing great in Nevada and Florida and Arizona, but I'm just not seeing it. And so we didn't get the red wave. And in part, I think it's because Republicans had this idea that we all need to vote on one day. What happened on Election Day in Arizona? 60% of machines factually had errors on Election Day. In Nevada, it snowed in Washoe County in Reno, a Republican area, on Election Day. In Harris County, Texas, in Luzerne County, Pennsylvania, they ran out of ballots on Election Day. And that was the impetus that I created after 2022 that wasn't the Red Tsunami, my organization, Early Vote Action. Because I firmly believe, Liz, that if we as Republicans wait to vote on one day in November of 2024, then Joe Biden has already won re-election. And I'm focused on Arizona, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. We win those five states, we win the presidency, we defeat the Joe Biden, and we elect a Republican president. 